What are some lessons and some things that you've learned now that you're at this stage of your career? And obviously you still have, so, I'm sure, so much more growth and uh, you know plans ahead as you're such a young man, but what are some of the lessons you've learned that you, if you could sort of you know, distill down some key things? Yeah. Well, for me in particular, you, you, you kind of hit a nail on the head earlier in terms of micromanagement and, um, you know, self-awareness is always a good thing, but when you can't let go of things, you can never scale. So for me in particular, I had to let go of a lot in order to, to grow. And it's the scariest thing. I mean, it's literally like letting go of a bar. And, you know, you want to control it all. I mean, down to the way that my contracts were watermarked. I mean, it was it was obsessive. Um, and, and and like, and for me, even today, like, you know, I'll see something my team does and I'll go, Oh, you know, I I really would have done it this way. And then there's this incredible response to it. And so, you know, being able to step back and work on your business, not in your business is not a concept that most agents even think about or understand. Like they're just notes to the grindstone. What's going to make me the most money? What are my dollar productive activities? Those are all great things, but uh, what I realized is I'm not going to be that, that, you know, this basically typical real estate agent who works until they're 75 years old and spends every dollar that they make on, you know, their, their latest and greatest clothing or cars. You know, what we've tried to do at, at Spears Group in particular is, you know, take, take a lot of these incredible sales that we've done and, and parlay it to more sales business, but also development business. Um, I've invested into a uh, luxury asset management firm, which is a big deal here on our coast. And so, you know, being able to to invest dollars in a different manner than just uh, the status quo. Yeah, get your money to work in other ways. And I think that's another huge lesson with agents. So many agents who even done well, uh, you know, haven't broken out of just making money on commissions. How about investing in real estate and other things? There's other sources of, of income, and that's that's really key too. And by the way, I think it's two of the hardest things to do, uh, you've noted, are investing in real estate as a real estate agent. That's really hard to do because you're always reinvesting in the business and you're always worried about your expenses. To be able to break money away, save and invest is hard. And to delegate when you're a one-man show, when you build your business and you're one person, it's really hard to let go and start delegating. So those two things that you've mentioned, I think are huge for all agents.